At the present time, you cannot mirror features within a sheet metal Autodesk Fusion 360 model. The reason is that it is all one body, the whole part. So there's no features in sheet metal. So what I want to do is show you how the best way to handle placing these tabs, here one on each side, in your model. I want to just do one side even there on both sides just to show you the method. So going back to this, we're going to first thing, we can, there is one thing we can do is mirror sketches. So we're going to make a work plane and the first one is two inches in from the end, both of them. So just drag it to minus two inches. Or type it, your choice. Then do a sketch on that surface. Now the first thing I'm going to do is put me a construction line in the center as my mirror line, just so I have it. Next thing is I'm going to draw the profile on one edge. And this is not really the important part of this video. What I'm trying to do is get to a point to show you how to make that sheet metal edge. So this is two. Goes over one. And goes up one. Okay, so now I need to be sure I somehow didn't get constraints on that. I'll need to constrain this and this. Okay, so now I've got that sketch. I'm going to mirror that sketch to the other side. So we go down to mirror. Pick up all three. Let me mirror that again just to be sure I got everything. Mirror. And now I'm going to select my mirror line and say OK. So it's on the other side. Now here's what the main focus of this video is for. Is how to make that a contour flange along the edge. One inch thick. Two inches from the end. That's where this sketch is. And one inch wide. So what we're going to do is do a contour flange. You can only do one at a time. And I'm going to do it to this edge. Notice it's on the wrong side, so switch sides. Now, I'm going to go to two offsets. Now, the first thing you want to do is change the offset of number one to the outside edge. And number two to the actual sketch point is where it should be. So drag this one out to the first number which is one inch thick and then drag this one to minus two. And that's the quickest way to get it. Let me go ahead and do the other side just to reinforce what I did. So open up sketches and bring this one back. Contour flange. Pick this edge. Pick the edge. I don't have to switch it this time because it came to the right edge. Go to two offsets. Change the first offset reference to the outside point, which would be the two from measuring two inches, and the inside one takes it to the actual sketch. So now I'll move this one to one inch first, or you'll get an error, and move this one to minus two. So that's the quickest way to get, let's turn that sketch off, those contour flanges in the right place. Let's just verify their dimension from the outside face to the edge is two inches. Okay, to get the next one is just a matter of making another work plane and do the same procedure. Work plane from here it is nine inches from this, so minus nine. Do a sketch on that. Now, one of the nice things you can do here is project your sketch onto that plane. 
you don't have to sketch it or mirror it, either one. So just go down to project, zoom up tight on it, and you'll see the sketch. I need to make the sketch visible. Pick, pick, and it's hidden up in there. If you look real close, there it is right there. Do the other one. Pick, pick, and pick. So now you have your sketches automatically and say OK. So now you can go ahead and turn off that previous sketch and go ahead and do the same procedure. So again, contour flange, this, this, and this to this edge. Just put it on the right side. Go to offset 2. Now this one's 9 inches from this face and 1 inch wide. So I change reference number 1 to that same point and reference number 2 to the sketch point. Change this to 1 and this one to minus 9. That's all there is to it. Let's do the other side. Let's turn that sketch on so we can do it real quick. Contour flange. Pick, pick, and pick. To the edge. We don't have to switch it. It came in right. Offset 2. Again, move the references. The first one is from the outside point. We're measuring 9 inches from there. Don't worry about the warning. And the inside reference is from this point. Change this one first. And then this one to minus 9. And there you go. You got it. Turn your sketches off and you're all done. Now flip around to the other side and you're finished. That's the best way to handle contour plans with these tabs.